Another tutorial guys this one I'm gonna show you how to edit photos in the just release iOS 13 in particular I'm gonna show you how to a couple of the changes that they made pardon me and we'll go through some of the functionality and we're gonna take some of my older pictures of my puppy dog my puppy dog and I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter a little bit better and we'll just go through some of that stuff so let's do some learning stuff oh there goes a tinder message I'm lonely <laughs> Now you guys know someone doesn't, please somebody message me. Ah. All right, anyways, enough crying. Let's get right into this. So go to photos, click on that up top there. You're going to see a bunch of my photos. God damn it, stop messaging me, people. Um, and then as I flip through it here, here's a whole bunch of photos. Now here's an interesting fact. These are some of the older photos because I just had, I bought the new phone and my, my uh, restore was from like years ago. So you can actually go to work on with the new tools. We're going to go to work on an old photo. And not only any old photo, we're gonna pick up. We're gonna take one of my handsome puppy named Kingston. Here we go, Kingston. Look at that face. Now I'll be honest. His jaw was a little. His bottom jaw was sticking out a little bit because he hadn't grown in. Um, his uh, his face hadn't turned into a full bulldog face. He's half English, half French bulldog. He's beautiful. Um, but now his uh, face is a nice, perfect square. His face looks like SpongeBob's face. It's like a bloody rectangle, and it doesn't jut out. But whatever, he's beautiful. I love him. But anyways, let's get in. Let's start editing. So on the top right, you're going to see the edit button. Click that bad boy. And here we go. We're in iOS 13, and we're about to start the editing party. Now, the beautiful thing about iOS 13 is everything you got to do is down here. Now, how cool is this? Everything is here on a row, and there's tons of new stuff. So... Again, I don't know if you guys want, I probably won't go through everything, but let's just start with vignette. Why not, right? And then to make it even better, you'll see here that it's just one slider. So it's an intensity slider at the bottom. And as I go through it, as you can see here slowly but surely, we start making changes. Very, very, very user-friendly, very intuitive. I love it. Noise reduction. There's not a lot of noise reduction, not a lot of noise in this. But again, I'm just going to start moving it across so you guys can see as I go. When we go to 100 versus 0, very, very little difference because it was a pretty good shot. Noise reduction is useful when it's nighttime or when you take a shot at night and you get a lot of grainy artifacts in there and stuff like that. That's where you want to kind of make a, a noise reduction. Definition, not a big factor here, but you know what? You'll see here it gets a little bit sharper. Uh, maybe that's what you would be used to calling it in uh, Photoshop if you're a Photoshopper. But definition, you know what? Let's just let's turn it up a bit. Made it a little sharper. Let's keep going through news. Oh, sharpness. Never mind, guys. Definition and sharpness. I don't know. I'm not the sharpest ball in the friggin'. That's for sure. Okay, sharpness. Let's increase it here. But anyways, guys, you get the point. Tint is a very useful one. If you want to start changing the like, if you want to make it like an autumn day, right? You want to have a little bit of like brown leaves with some red in there. Okay, we took that shot in autumn. That's how you would change it. Just like that. And then let's see what we got. Warmth. Want to make it a little warmer so it adds some more brownish and um, colors in. Again, season to your taste, guys. Vibrance is another one that I use quite a bit. This just adds a nice look to it. I'm going to increase the vibrance. And you know what? We're just going to go through this a little bit. Brightness. Okay, we'll make it a little brighter. Why not? And again, guys, all of these things are as you as you guys see fit. Everybody likes a different type of picture, but when you see here, and the point of this video is all of these tools are on a bar. They're like all horizontally here, and you can use them anytime. It's just awesome, guys. So anyways, guys, go nuts. Give it a shot. Um, you guys, yeah, the exposure is pretty good on this, but maybe I'll make it exposure. It makes it a little bit brighter. The whites come out. Um, brilliance, yes, I am the most brilliant man I know. Then again, I don't know many men, so maybe that's the point. No, I'm I'm actually yeah. If I was any if I was any stupider, I'd be on a leash. I gotta edit out that f word. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more stuff coming up. I'll be back soon. See you soon.